Hello everyone. Mirumese. Uh, I'm happy to see all of you once again. Okay, before we begin, you know, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are the, the King of Kings. And you have the whole authority in heaven and on earth. That's why, you know, whatever problems we may have, once we come to you, you, know, you are able to handle all of them. Father, for a long time we had lived in agony and fear and condemnation because of sin. No matter how hard we tried to fight against the sin, we always failed. However, by your grace, we are able to receive Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, according to your promise, he was crucified at the cross. The reason why Jesus was crucified at the cross is because God wants you know, to give us the perfect salvation. Father, this is the truth. This is the truth which can never change. But Satan diverted this fact, putting the so many question marks and doubt in the heart of the people. There are so many people, they do not just believe in the word, but also you know, their thought. It's though they speak about the word, but they always conclude with their calculation. Through this time, I hope that you, know, you that delete all the thought put by Satan in from our heart, so that only the word of God can remain in our heart. Father, we thank you. I pray everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, this time, now let us open to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Uh, today I want to talk about faith. The Bible clearly says that you know, the faith is the only way you know, to, for us to please Him. The Bible says God is God and the human being is a human being. And the human thoughts are different from the thoughts of God. You know, so many people, they try their best to please God by their good performance, by their diligence, by their loyalty. Even though they use all possible you know, the ways to please God, but there is a one thing that they do not know. Let's say that you know, the, we have the, our own righteousness. Even we have the standard to, you know, the, to see or the, to judge the people according to their good performance. Probably the people in the prison, those who committed the sins, you know, the, without second thought, you, know, you may call them the evil person. But what about the people who help the poor, you know, the who do their lot of you know, the good works for the society. I'm sure that you, know, you will call them you know, the good people. Even according to our understanding, we have there some people who are good and some the others who are evil. What if we pick, we choose all the, one, one person who is the most good in the world? I don't know if you think that you are the one. 
Since no era quel uomo, but anyways, there must be the one person who is the most good in the world. Everybody says that ah, this person is really, really good. He's very good at keeping the law. As uh, this is the man even can live without the law. Can you the, can you imagine if? This society does not have the law. If there is no law, what would happen in the society? Do you think you know, that the people live the good life or the evil life? You see that, you know, that definitely you know, the uh, whole society, you know, that even the community will become chaos. But the man you know, the who can live without the law, what does that mean? That man is really, really good and nice. Anyways, let's say that there is a one person who is the most good in the whole world. He's the most righteous person in the eyes of the man. He's the most good and kind person in the world. What if he stands before God? What do you think God would say to him? We can get this answer from the Bible. Let us open to the book of Isaiah, chapter 64. Verse 6. Go of Isaiah, chapter 64, verse 6. It is saying, but we are all like an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are like filthy rags. We have all fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. <laughs> All our righteousness are like filthy rags. Can you imagine that you are invited by one person to my house and you have arrived in my house? Yeah, you have to wash your hands. So after washing your hands, if I provide you with, if I offer to you the dirty rag, how would you feel? You would feel so bad, right? How dare you know the pastor Ko gives me this dirty rag? Uh, he must have despised me so much. I'm sure that you would feel so bad. Now you see that you know so many people they try their best to make the great righteousness, great goodness to please God. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, and cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? If you remember the parable of Jesus Christ, the prayers of the Pharisee and the tax collector, this is not the tax collector, this is not the Pharisee, you know, he, tested, he prayed in this way. I have uh, uh, the fasted twice a week. I have done a lot of good things. I am different from that, you not know, a tax collector who is dirty and filthy. What does this mean? That he, this Pharisee thought that he was very nice, he was very good. That's why his prayer must be welcomed. Ah, God will listen to my prayer because I have done so many good deeds. Oh, what about the prayer of a tax collector? Even he, well, he was not confident to look up the sky. He was just 
the hitting his chest. Eu comecei a ficar tudo zagoso. Said, oh, I'm a sinful. Era ficar tudo gostoso de manhã já. Sinful man, Lord. Ah, nem de manhã já. Now that Jesus said, who is more righteous in the eyes of God? E esse é o jeito de se punir do céu, como mais sei mal. That was not the Pharisee, but the tax collector. Ah, era um Pharisee, ou era um curioso e corrupto. If I provide you with this dirty rag, no, definitely you would feel so bad. Então você vai te dizer, e todos os navios já não já não se viram com zoava. Now the God said, your righteousness is like a filthy rag. Não nem mais o que vai acontecer no capa, o que me zli todo o show, e ando e chama. However, so many people even now they try to create, they try to make their own righteousness to please God. E tu acha que o que eles não vão não existe, mas já eles acham que o que eles vão fazer no capa, o que eles vão fazer no capa. We have to do a lot of good works. We have to keep the law very well, so that we can please God. I'm not saying that you don't need to keep the law. You don't need to do good. Please do that. But remember one thing. Do that. 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 Do We must be able to have faith. The first of all, in order for you to have faith, there must be the object, which is the target. Let me say one in the sentence. I believe. And this is. Does it make sense? I believe. And this is. You see that you know this is not the perfect sentence. You're not going to use it. Why? Kuchi. I believe what? Well, this is it. I believe who? There must be the objective. I believe in you. The quiz. I believe in Rwanda. I believe in the truth. So without the objective, you know, we, this sentence cannot be the perfect. In the same way, in order for you to have faith, there must be the object, there must be the target. Many people they believe in something. See that many people said, I believe in God. Okay, that's okay. What kind of God do you believe? This is very important, very much important question. Because so many people said, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus as my personal savior. Even though they said that they believe in Jesus, they do not have the something that you know, they can get, they can acquire from believing in true Jesus in the Bible. Let's Think about this verse. That I'm sure that you, all of you, you know. Whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have a everlasting life. That Him is Jesus. Whoever believes in Him, no matter who you are, if you believe in Jesus, the Bible says. You should not perish. Why? Because you have everlasting life. What is the everlasting life? Everlasting life is the life without death, without destruction. That's why, if you have the everlasting life, it is obvious that you are completely free from that destruction. And it can only be possible by believing in Jesus. Christ, no matter who you are. Many people said, I believe in Jesus. But since I came to Rwanda, it has been more than 10 years. I have met so many people who say that I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. But when I ask them about the gift, that we can acquire by believing in Jesus. Oh, do you have that gift that you, that you acquire from the believing in Jesus? What is that? 
Akwata se yo vuga undi ni yihe eternal life. Ubugingo buhora. Are you sure about eternal life? Ese wize kufite ubugingo buhora people have question mark in their heart. Aba batagira kwibaza ibibazo mu mitima yabo. I'm not sure if I have the eternal life. But it's in the of ubugingo buhora. Do you know why people have the confusion about the eternal life? Ese gituma bagira urujo by It is because they still have a lot of chance to perish. Ntabwo numva ko ari ubushobozi no kumva ko ari ubushobozi bwinshi bwo kurimuka. Do Bible says that whoever believes in him should not perish. Nubwo bireva kugira ngo mwizera wese tarimuka. Which means no 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 you know that even any past no possibility to perish. Bivuze ko nabushobozi nawe cyo kurimuka buri. Even 1%. Zero percent. Zero percent. However, so many people they have a lot of chance to perish. Yes, I believe in Jesus. Jesus is my savior. Yes, no much is that. However, if I miss to repent, I will do, uh, perish. If I you not know, the backslide, I perish. If I commit to sin again, I perish. People live with this fear and this confusion continually. What kind of Jesus is he? You believe in Jesus? But you still have a lot of a chance to perish. Even everlasting life, you are in confusion. You are not sure about the everlasting life. What kind of Jesus is that? The Bible clearly says there are two kinds of gospel. I was able to realize one day that ah, is why people believe in Jesus, yet they still have confusion, they still have condemnation. It is because their object of faith or the target of faith is not clear. Huh? Yes, all of them they think that they believe in Jesus. But it is not that they believe in Jesus in the Bible. These people they believe in Jesus in their thought. Jesus in the Bible. Yes, in the Bible. God in the Bible. They are more than able to make you perfect, righteous, and perfect, holy. So that you know that God and you can become one. The Bible says, you see that as many as receive the Jesus, they have the right to become the children of God. I am South Korean. My father is a South Korean. My grandfather is a South Korean. My son also is a South Korean. Do you understand? Your father probably is Rwandese. That's why also you are Rwandese. Maybe your child also is Rwandese. Now you see that the father and the son, they are blood connected. They have the same nationality. Yeah, probably you know, the nationality can be changed maybe through the different issues. However, if you want to be connected with God, because God is holy. God is righteous. You know, without having the same holiness and same righteousness, it is impossible for you to be connected with God. If you stand before God having sin in your heart, you will immediately die. Because the Bible says God is a God who do who who does not dwell with evil. That's why anyone who stands before God having sin, you know, that person, no matter who that person is, he or she must be killed. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. Wages of sin is death. So God sent us Jesus Christ. And that Jesus Christ, He took all of our sins and He died on our place. This is how God gave us the remission of sins. The salvation is the forgiveness of sins. And Jesus, you know, that He perfectly you know, finished our sins. 
because the blood of Jesus it came from heaven. You see that anything from heaven it has the eternity. The blood of Jesus it, it, it is if it, it is you know the effective forever eternally. There is no expiry date. Everything on the earth it has an expiry date. Even I myself, maybe after a hundred years, you will, nobody will find me. The phones that you are using right now, Probably, you know, you are you are you, you are having that brand new phone right now. But after one year, after two years, it will be, it will be no longer the brand new phone. Everything on this earth will disappear. Nothing is eternal in this world. That's why even Old Testament, when Israelites, they committed the sins, you know, they brought the offering of the animals. As you know, the animals from this world, the earth, right? Or goat, or the sheep, or the, the bull, so that blood, yes, it has the power to redeem the sin, but it was not for eternal. Sometimes just for one sin. Sometimes the sin of the whole congregation. Sometimes the sin for the the whole congregation for one year. However, the blood of Jesus was different. Because the blood of Jesus it was like the imported from heaven. That's why the blood of Jesus was different from the blood of anything on this earth. Once for all. The Bible says eternal redemption. Do you know why God has prepared this eternal redemption for us? Because without eternal redemption, it would be impossible for us to get the eternal life. In order for us to get the eternal life, our sins must be redeemed eternally. Now you see that faith, you know, faith is something that we believe what we do not see with our eyes. First of all, you know, remember that you are, in order for you to have the clear faith, your object, the target of faith must be clear. God in the Bible. Not the God in your thought. Jesus in the Bible. Not the Jesus in your understanding. This object and target of your faith must be clear. And secondly, the Bible says faith comes by hearing. When the object and the target of your faith become clear, the now, second part is to listen to that message. When you listen to that, you know, the word of God from the Bible, if you accept that you know, the voice of God in the Bible, because the Bible says faith comes by hearing, by that you know, hearing the exact word, that you know, the word will bring you the exact faith. And when this you know, the word of God enters you, since it has the power, also it can make the you can make the fruit in your life. Let us read one verse in the book of Romans. Romans chapter six. If you exactly listen to the word of God, Romans chapter six, verse twenty-two. This verse will happen in your life. 
But now, having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness and the end everlasting life. Ariko none ubwo mwa batuye kubyaha mukabimbata zimana mwifite imbuto zanyu nizo kwezwa kana maherezo yanyu n'ubugingo buhoraho. You used to be the slave of sin. Mwaho ze muri imbata zica. No matter how hard you tried, you were not able to come out of it by yourself. Uko mwageragije cyane ko sinabwo mwashije kukisoramo kubwanyu. So God sent us Jesus Christ. Imana rero yatwereje Jesus Christ. Also God sent us the his servant to spread this gospel, to preach this gospel. Imana yatwereza abagaragu bayo kugira ngo tubwirize ubutumwa bwiza. So it is impossible for you to listen to the word without the gospel preachers. So nabwo bishoboka ko kuvisha muri Imana hatabayeho ababwiriza ubutumwa. That's why if you read the Bible from the Genesis up to the Revelation, nima mu byose nibi birakora mu itangiriro kugeza mu byahishu. God continuously he established the his servant to you know, speak on behalf of God. So servants of God and prophets you know, continuously speak the word of God. And the people you know, hear the word of God. When this word of God enters in the heart of the people, now here the Bible says, you have your fruit through holiness and end everlasting life. If you exactly listen to the word of God, definitely you will have this everlasting life. You will have the holiness. Since you have the holiness and the everlasting life, you are able to be free from condemnation. But unfortunately and sadly, so many people, even though they listen to the what is called the word of God, but they still have condemnation, they still have the confusion about everlasting life. Even in the time of Israel, there are a lot of false prophets. They were listening to the lie. You see, what are you going to listen? You can think about the people who listen to the word from their true servant of God. Now you see the Israelites, they, they used to live the slavery life in the Egypt. But when they listened to the guidance of the Moses, now they were able to be free from their slavery. Even though a lot of challenges, there were a lot of challenges, but they could enter into the land of promise. Do you know the story of Jarifah's widow? The famine came and everyone was dying. Even this woman, this Jarifah's widow, she was thinking about the cooking the little bread and eat and die with her son. She had no hope at all. But at that time, she was able to listen to the word of the man of God, Eliza. So, as she was listening to the guidance of Eliza, even though it did not make sense, now she was able to survive. She was able to get their food. In the same way, you see that many people they are dying because of hunger. Not the hunger, this physical hunger. The spiritual hunger. So many people they have the spiritual thirsty. That's why they have condemnation, they have fear, they have worries. There so many people, they have the great fear to stand before God because of sin in their heart. But just as you know, this Jarifah's widow listened to the word of Eliza and she got the food, even now God is sending his servants you know, to preach the word so that you know, the people can get rid of the spiritual hunger and the spiritual thirsty. Since the faith comes by hearing, you know that you need to meet the true servant of God who preached the word. So who is the true preacher? 
Unamubwiriza ko kuri nende. It's very simple. Biroroshye cyane. One who preaches based on the Bible. Ubwiriza bishije kuri Bibiliya. One who just to speak on behalf of God. Uvuga mu kimo kimana. Not adding his thought or his calculation or his understanding. Atonje mu bitekerezo bye imibare y'icyo basi n'imyumvire. Just delivering the word of God as it is written in the Bible. Akavugisha mu rugimana neza nko rya kamisi muri Bibiliya. No, that is the true servant of God. Uno mugara gw'imana ukuri. You know one day God spoke to the Jeremiah. Musimana avuga ne Jeremiah. Actually Jeremiah he was a young boy. Undi Jeremiah karaga mu gato. He was not a great you know, the great man. Nagaro mu nhamba. He was just a young However God told him you just to speak a word that I give you in your mouth Actually you know, according to our eyes the Jeremiah you know, he did not bear the great fruit Even you know that his story you know that it was really really like the, it is like the makes us sad Why because wherever he preached always he was persecuted sometimes you know he was uh, he was you know the, even the, he was he was like pushed to uh, the stay in the big you know, the pit sometimes he was threatened sometimes he was imprisoned sometimes he was beaten however Jeremiah remembered the promise of God. You go and speak the word that I give you in your mouth. And Jeremiah he kept preaching. He kept delivering the word of God. Amazing thing is, in the 66 books, in the Bible there are 66 books. Jeremiah is the one of the longest books in the Bible. Because it has a lot of chapters, more than 50 chapters. Now, the reason why God has recorded the story of Jeremiah in that, you know, that much long, even though we may not see the great works or great you know, the tangible achievement, God must have been happy with the Jeremiah because in whatever situations Jeremiah he spoke the word of God dear viewers what about you? do you believe in what Bible says or you know, what fit your understanding? now I told you that faith comes by hearing but do you know that there are two kinds of hearings? Yeah, first hearing, I believe that all of you know. The hearing by your ears. Probably you are now hearing my voice. Yeah, unless you are deaf, you, know, you can hear that voice. But not many people know the second hearing. What is the second hearing? Let us open to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with the, with the faith in those who heard it. Now here we can see that the gospel was preached to us and to them. But the word of word, the word which they heard did not profit them. Which means this word could not work inside of their heart. Why? Because they did not mix it with the faith. Even though they listened to the word, with their ears. However, they did not listen to the word with their heart. It means they mixed the, this you know, the message with their thought. Ah, even though I listen to the word, it does not make sense. You can find so many stories in the Bible. Jesus said to the Jairus daughter that she is not dead, but sleeping. The people, even though they heard with their ears, but they did not mix it with their heart. Yes, 
Aba wabyumvishije matwi yabo ariko ndabyumvisha imitima. In the second Kings in chapter 7, mwa mibaka kabiri bicibiri. Men of God Elijah said that tomorrow about this time the food will be very cheap. Umugara w'Imana Elisa yagize ati ejo n'iki gihe ibyo kujya biza bihenduse cyane. However, that you know the officer who's hand in a king leaned on when he said that how can these things be? Are ko mutwara umwami yegambira garavuga ati mbese ibyo bya bahu bite? It does not make a sense. Nta shingiro bifite. This man is a lie. Umuntu arabeshya. You see there's so many people they listen to the word in this way. Abantu benshi bumvisha ijambo ry'Imana baryo. Listen to the word, bakumva ijambo and then Muko they calculate and they judge their word according to their standard. Bakamishira mu mibare bagatangira kuri jora bagendeye ku myumvire yabo. Kasas. Imana yavuga ngo you are evil continually. Uri mubi gusa ibihe byose. It means that you are evil continually. Bisone kuri mubi gusa ibihe byose. You have no solution for your sin problem at all. Nta muti ufite ikibazo cyawe kicya habe na gato. Why because you are evil continually. Kora kuri mubi gusa ibihe byose. That God you know, who said that your heart is evil continually. Imana yavuze ko umutima wari mubi gusa ibihe byose. He sent us Jesus Christ. Yatwere Jesu Kristo. Why? Kuki? Because we are not able to come out of this problem of sin by ourselves. Kora kuna gutwa washo kwivana mu kibazo kicya twenyine kugacu. Do you know what worker is? Worker ese na bamuzi uruziga rwikaraga mu mazi rugatera muvumba. Sometimes in the lake or the, in the river there is a worker. Dimana ni mugezi cyangwa se mukiyaga bahari mu mvumba wa mazi karaga. Once you fall into the whirlpool no matter how well you swim but you are not able to come out of it by yourself. Ora musuge mu rugo ruziga rwo muvumba wa mazi karaga ubwo buziko gabinga niki nagabasha kwivana. In order for you to come out of the whirlpool you need somebody who can save you from it. Kugira ngo uvemo ubukeneye umuntu wo kugutabara kuvana mu. Your viewers you need to understand this point clearly. Ushite mukurikiye iyi We need a savior. Dukeneye mukiza why kuchi because we failed to come out of sin by ourselves we failed to come out of despair by ourselves we failed to come out of the destruction by ourselves our destination how to call it is hellfire that is how we are destined but God who loves us. Without any payment, without any you know, the price, he sent us Jesus and Jesus died for us. I believe that you did not pay anything, right? Because Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus had happened even before we were born in this world. Believe huh? that that you know, believing in that works of Jesus. It is the only way for you and me to please God. I really hope that this, uh, you know, this time you, know, you remember this and you meditate this word so that the faith can be established in your heart. And that is the only way to please God. God has prepared everything for you. All things are ready, come. Those who believe, they will come. But those who do not believe, they will come up with so many excuses. Because of that, because of that. And eventually they reject the calling invitation of the God. I hope that you change your heart. Put your calculation down. Put your thought down. And you accept what is written in the Bible. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. At this time, you allowed us to share the word about faith. Really, Father, without faith, it is impossible to please God. But Father, to be honest, we do not know how to get the faith. Because faith is not something that you know, we can produce by ourselves. That's why you have written all the process of how we can get a faith in the Bible. 
Faith comes by hearing, therefore you sent us your servant. So you are gospel preachers continuously spread this gospel. So that we can listen to the word. Even when this word enters us, there is an obstacle for our thought, our calculation. However, also you explain to us how wrong it is so that we can put our thought down to be able to receive the word. Now, Father, you know, we who received this message, we are no longer listeners, now we are preachers. I hope that everyone who received this message now from now on they can play a role of the preacher so that more people can listen to the word. Father, we thank you. I pray everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, thank you very much. See you next time.